Scene one, shot one, take one. My name's Rachel Wright and I am behind the scenes at Trust Me Julia, directed and written by Sarah Jordan. Now I'm going to be taking you around and showing you the locations where we are filming. So if you'd like to follow me, I will take you to the first location now. Gemma, Gemma, can you tell us your role with this shoot? Um, so I'm production manager as always and also I'm helping manage the continuity um, team so we work on things like looking at the costume, making sure everything matches from scene to scene, making sure that the lines are like basically followed and if there's any input how to change the um, script and just reporting back to all who's our producer and also the director. So how have things been going today? Um, good so far, we're currently setting up um, the living room scene which has been fun because we're trying to find the ideal yeah. props and then Lily's been helping um, set everything up um, yeah. with the set. Currently there's things going on outside as well so everything's super super busy. Um, we've got our continuity team apparently getting set up and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. We have a monitor set up so they can keep an eye on everything from outside of the scene because the set gets very busy as you can see. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> everything is aesthetically pleasing and that fit the story and I need to know if we need specific items yeah. such as cloth, candles and make sure everything looks nice depending on where the camera is going to shoot, which angles and so that did really bring the story together so it fits with the uh, with the environment and what we're trying to say. Has there been any complications so far? So far so good, it's still early in the shoot so I'm not too sure we had it. But I think we've got a brilliant team and quite a lot of us are used to work with each other so it's just easier and it's a fantastic teamwork so everybody just stepped in, give a hand and we get things fixed. If there is an issue coming up I'm sure everything's going to be sorted. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I want to see you. <laughs> We've all got it. It's locked well, down. Tell well, me, look, I've got it. Well, three months ago, this would be completely different. I know. I The only gaffer that will ever be needed. Yeah. So, can you explain your role on this shoot then? Uh, so, Ollie, the beautiful DOP, um, he uh, comes up to me and he goes, Frank, we need this light there. And I go, I can do that. So, Ollie has asked for some moonlight backlight, and that's currently what we're doing. Uh, we're using this beautiful Robo Color Pro 400 HMI. Um, so, because this gives off quite a hard source with lots of shadows and horribleness, we're going to stick a 3x3 three three frame in with some uh, half diffusion and some steel blue to make it look lovely and moonlighty. Very nice. Quite pretty, yeah. exactly. This is Ollie. Hello. What is your role on this shoot? So I'll be DOP today, uh, which is director of photography. So I'll be working very closely with Frank, the gaffer, and the director as well, Sarah, um, just working out how things are going to look. 
essentially. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Bringing her creation to life. So what are you currently doing now? Uh, at the moment we're just going to set up this room. So we've got a sequence in the room where we're going to come in with the steady cam and then we're going to go from behind and then around. Uh, the tricky thing is that it's meant to be night. So, okay, so as you can see what Frank's doing here is we're trying to recreate moonlight um, by getting some blue light in and then we're going to shoot everything a little bit darker. Okay. We've blacked out the outside, which is most of the work yeah. we've done, which is fantastic. When you weren't here. When I wasn't here, because I was <laughs> late. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we're going to see what that looks like when we shoot in there and try and make it look like night. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Should be fun. Yeah. So here I'm joined with Sarah and Richard. Now guys, are you able to tell us what is your role during this shoot? Uh, well, you're the director, so you should be your role. I should know what yeah. my role is. Um, well, it's, I, I have to have the vision of the whole piece, and which I have got in my head. So I'm trying to get everyone else to make that vision happen. I'm carrying it all the way. Well, I'm not, I've got it written down, but that's what makes it more difficult, actually. And uh, as a, your first assistant director, I'm trying to uh, a, a keep a, a schedule of what shots we're doing and also to keep us to time, which I think is the, the enemy of. The next scene will be uh, 15, yes, 13. Yeah, that was so you also wrote this script. Yeah. What inspired you to write it? Um, well, actually, I wrote this for a competition where I was given a genre of suspense and it, where it had to be set and a prop. And, uh, yeah, so it, it's not my normal sort of thing. It's quite, yeah, it's part of it. But, but yeah, it's good. I haven't done suspense before, have you, Richard? No, so there's a lot, it's much more, pop there's a lot more shots. Normally I like to let things run between characters, but this has got to have a lot of cutaways, a lot more different things to add that element of suspense to keep it moving and sharp. So that's what's causing a bit of a headache for me. Oh. Second assistant director. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, so basically I'm helping the director to find the first assistant director. Hey Rachel. Hello. Hey. How are you? Hello, good. How are you? It's I'm good to good. see you. It wouldn't be a We Make Films without you. <laughs> so, um, what is your role on this shoot? I'm the steady cam operator. So I'll be, I'll be holding the huge thing that you see in the corner there, yeah. and um, for a very stable shot. Okay. Um, how you find it so far? Any complications? Uh, yes, it might rain. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, all good. <laughs> Um, so what are you currently doing right now? Um, Victor is currently setting up the follow focus, which makes sure that we can keep the lens in focus. And once he's done with that, I'll put it on the steady cam and I'll make sure that it's balanced. And then we're pretty much ready to shoot. I think they're waiting for us. So. That's, awesome. <laughs> That's lovely. That is. Um, open, the, open the door, Stefan. Yes, sir. Um, what cameras are you shooting on? We are filming with two cameras. They're the Canon C300. And I believe we're doing behind the scenes with a Canon C100. This is the C300. It's ready. It's ready, ah, oh, perfect. So you can see it from all angles now. And now it's off to go and do some work. <laughs> We're putting the camera on the steady cam and we can play around with the weights and we can move it forwards and backwards to make sure that it stays stable. And in fact, for the very first shot, the camera will be tilting down. So I'm going to do something unconventional and I will try and make sure that the entire rig, when you let go of it, is facing slightly downward. And I'm just tightening this screw now so it doesn't fall down and break. That's definitely too much. <laughs> you got to flinch the camera, ready? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, six 
fifty something, right? Frank, what is this? Uh, it says... The Moon! It's the Moon. <laughs> it's called the Falconize RX-T18. And what are you going to use it for? This. <laughs> are we getting a BTS of this? Yes, we are. <laughs> Try walking and see how it goes. It's really heavy. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Okay, you're right. Okay. Frank finally making himself useful. Don't be scared, baby. I hope we're all right. Just a few minutes away. There wasn't anything happen to So we're at our second location of the day and the last location of the day. We are in a car park outside of a church. They're all getting set up right now, ready to film when it gets dark. Zara, how are you finding it so far? <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. <laughs> it's good, it's going really well, but it's just it's just rather windy and cold and yeah. this is gonna be tricky because we're trying to do day for night. Um, you've got we've got um, obviously headlamps that are artificial lights, so that makes it more difficult. But we've got a new character now, the tramp. Yeah. So yeah, we've got a lot to do and So they're going to be shooting at night, but they want to keep him lit from the top, so they're holding the light above him and testing it, see if it's working, see if it looks good. Um, Raki is wearing the steady cam to keep it obviously steady. And, um, I imagine it's pretty heavy. So, yeah. So I'm joined with Lewis, another actor. So Lewis, what role are you playing? Get off my land. <laughs> this is my trolleys. You get away from my trolley. Get so your own bloody trolley. It, it's like a homeless person, I guess. Is this going on the telly? <laughs> Hello, Mum. It's me, <laughs> your long lost son. I'm doing all right, thank you. I'll get paid for this. Unfortunately not. Well, I want editing. <laughs> so, Lily, is it possible to show us around the car? Oh, it's been carefully designed. As you can see, we have a, a selection of bags, of rubbish, of different containers, yeah. which have been artistically uh, arranged in a aesthetically pleasant manner. Ooh. So, yes, uh, lots of thought goes into this. And you see, at the end of the day, so pretty much everything gets shoved onto the truck. So, what, what do we have? Lots of the newspaper, uh, just print volumes, and lots of bags. And pretty much every rubbish from the, the set today, and even some <laughs> Amazon packaging, so... So I can't <laughs> put my fag out in there then? No, no, definitely not. It goes back into my, my car. <laughs> my favourite colour is blue, and I like ponies. So what character are you playing? Today, I am Tisho, or... Tissue or tissue, we haven't really decided on the pronunciation, but that's fine. Tissue, I am a tissue. Oh. Tissue. Um, and he is the love interest of the um, of Julia, played by Emily. And there's more to that story, but I can't say too much. 
What are your thoughts on the script? Do you like it? Loved it. When I read it, it was like, oh, that's the bad guy. Oh, that's the, oh, that, ooh. And I had it guessing yeah. all the way through. So I was very, very happy. I actually auditioned for the other role. So I normally play a bit nastier, so to speak. And um, no, then I auditioned for Sarah and, and it, it worked out this way, which is often the case. Interesting, at least, just so we can see it. What have you been pulled over then, Paul, son? No, uh, what do you, what do you think you're doing around these places? I'm selling COVID vaccine. It's a bath. It's, it's, it's love. This light is not putting you in a nice light as not being the villain. <laughs> 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 Is Paul ringing me? He's trying to <laughs> It's Paul! <laughs> Don't be scared, baby, it'll be alright. Look, I'm a few minutes away. I won't let anything happen to you. Seventh of September, and we're filming day two of Trust Me, Julia. And we are currently in the woods location, so which Mine is quite shot. Fun. Yeah. My, oh. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the twenty seventh of September, and day two of filming Trust Me, Julia. So we are at our third location, which is the director's house, but there is also a woods at the back, and I'm gonna take you there now. Follow me. He's burying a grave for one of us. <laughs> What exactly are you doing? I'm digging my own grave. <laughs> I think I'm trying to create a flat platform on a completely uneven surface. Yeah. So we can put the equipment here, here. Uh, Vic Victor, you can try here. put it there already. That's for you, the grave. Look at this beautiful triangle, carefully digged out. So now the question is, how even is this? It looks all right-ish. I think the one with the hole is a little bit lower. Okay, so let me fill this back up a little bit. I got too enthusiastic. What are you doing? Just so we can get all the equipment settled. So by the time everybody is ready on set, we can then bring the camera there. Try it out. <laughs> so we're back with the director. Sarah, how are you feeling about Hello. today? Good, yeah. There's a hell of a lot to get in today yeah. 46 shots because we couldn't <laughs> fit in two last night so we're going to carry them over to today so yeah more more shots um, have you had any complications like, so far well there's lots of complications today the ground's really uneven so yeah. that's a problem um, as you can see it's daylight and we're trying to make it look like night time oh, so yeah. every time we set up a shot we're really trying to think where's the light source and how can we block out the sky because you really don't want to see the sky yeah. uh, it's a bit cold <laughs> so everyone's a bit yeah. cold uh, yeah but I think you know we're ready to go We've got you're talking to us when we got energy That's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay Raki's happy okay just be safe on this first run okay all right okay. get a sense of footing so you got a feather. Action. Cut. Nice. Okay. Go again. Reset, that's fine. That was really good. <laughs> Right. Is it? No, it's not. Uh, I think we're going to need to come more yeah, to the right now. Yeah, I think the back. We did. That was Channing 1. Literally, we're moving on this really well. Amazing. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Clapper, please. I know, we've done it. Oh, you've done it. Yeah, still rolling. Right. Still rolling. Action. Yeah. And then when she comes into Emily, go now. And then the wrong way. So. so you need to scan. 
So we are joined with the actress Emily. Now you are the main character of this um, film. So can you explain like what do you think of the script? Um, when I read it, I really loved that it's such good writing and everything is in detail whenever I'm reading a script, that's kind of what I look for and all the characters um, are really dynamic and well-rounded and interesting and have depth, so I love that. Bit. Have you had any complications while filming this? No, just running down this hill <laughs> yeah. so far. That's the only one really. And then having to stay um, in such a heightened place emotionally is new for me. But Do you have like a favourite location so far? Like the, the yesterday shoot where we did this kind of eccentric house where it's Julia's living room yeah. is, I just was pretending that it was mine. <laughs> It's the end of the first and the beginning of the second. Okay, so, that's fine. Um, yeah. So I'm joined with Paul. Now, Paul, you are the producer of this shoot. Indeed, yeah. And yeah. you're also the founder of We Make Films. Yeah, yeah. We've been running two years now. We've just been just coming up for two years ne next March. So how do you think this shoot is going so far? Bloody cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, we have to shoot outside because of coronavirus, of course. So we've chosen to switch where there's a lot of outside. Yeah. Uh, element to it. It's a bit chilly, but it's going very well. I mean, we're lucky, the weather's just perfect. Yeah. Really overcast. We're doing day for night, so we don't want it sunshine, we're uh, overcast. So, has there been any complications so far? What, people are not finding the location, um, forgetting the milk, um, not having any paper cups is that big sort of place at the moment, but other than that, technically wise, as far as I'm aware, doing pretty well. What do you think of the script? Do you like it? Oh, yeah, I love the script. Yeah, it's really script. We haven't shot a film yet. I don't think I didn't like the script. That's chosen by the members, it's not chosen by me. Yeah. So the members vote on the script they want to shoot. Nice, yeah. Thank you. All right, pleasure. So that is a wrap to the behind the scenes of Trust Me Julia. Now if you want to make films instead of excuses, check out wemakefilms.net. Thanks for watching.